Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I'm super excited because I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown of my favorite products from 2016 that I will be using in 2017. So I'm going to start off with a few of the ones that are like my tried and true, the ones that I've used like for a couple years and not just last year. So of course I'm going to start with the Aussie Mega Moist and this is the conditioner this is the one I use the most of and I recently started using their shampoo as well if you checked out my winter wash and go routine that I posted the other day then you will know that I use the shampoo as well um, I kind of got the shampoo on accident <laughs> trying to buy the conditioner I know I'm not the only one who's done that before so yeah don't judge me but I decided maybe I should just keep the shampoo and see if I can use them both in conjunction with each other and see how they work and I do actually like the shampoo it's super moisturizing here it is right here this is the shampoo I have a smaller thing of it and this will probably honestly last me for the rest of the year because I do not use that much shampoo but the conditioner I go through it like crazy I've been using it since last year and the year before that and I will continue to use this brand throughout 2017 so next up is this styling gel this is the wet line extreme gel you probably have seen me use this recently I used it for my wash and go recently and I've been using it throughout last year um, during the beginning of the year I used eco styler which I do love eco styler but I started to use this one um, again because I really like this one with this one my hair tends to get a little bit harder than with eco styler which I don't like but I like the price for this one and it does have aloe vera in it and my hair responds really well to aloe vera so I absolutely love this one and it's highly affordable so I will be using it throughout 2017 the next product I'm going to show you guys that I discovered last year was this originals by Africa's best hair mayonnaise with olive oil and the way I stumbled across this was I was gonna get a deep conditioner and I was not wanting to pay a lot of money you guys know I usually do mayonnaise like regular mayonnaise for my deep treatments but I wanted to try something and not break the bank so this was about three bucks at my local Walmart and I actually love it um, at first I didn't like it too much because it didn't have a lot of slip but the next time I used it I made sure that I conditioned my hair beforehand so my hair was already tangled and then I put this on my hair for the sole purpose of getting a good deep conditioning deep protein treatment out of it and for that it served its purpose after I rinsed it out my hair was so shiny I let it air dry and without product it looked amazing it felt amazing and I do have some video footage I'll try to insert it here or I'll make sure I link it below but um yeah I really think for the price this is actually really good and it's kind of like one of those products that you can doctor up you can add oil to it and kind of just make it your own and I feel like it's worth it because it's not that much money and it does leave your hair feeling really really nice so I will be using this up and possibly buying more this year the next product I'm gonna show you guys is this infusium 23 moisture replenisher this bottle is empty because I've used all of it infusium 23 moisture replenisher leave-in treatment um, I'm pretty sure you saw me use this I started using this um, back when my hair was still dyed blonde when I went to the lightest blonde color I picked this up because I was looking for a really good leave-in conditioner that was going to help to strengthen my hair and balance it out not break the bank that kind of thing and I remember that I used to use this when I was younger and my mom used it all the time so I decided to pick it up and it really did my hair uh, really really good um, I could definitely tell a difference in how much hair would come out when I would comb my hair after I started back using this and I really really love it another good thing about it is it's kind of concentrated because it's a salon type um, hair care so you can add water to this so I put it in my spray bottle and I add water you guys have seen me use it in a few of my videos and I absolutely love it and another good thing is I posted about it on Instagram and infusion 23 was so nice they sent me the um, shampoo and the conditioner that goes along with it so if you notice I've been using this when I wash and condition my hair not really big on shampoo but I absolutely love the shampoo it's really heavy I have a lot left and it's gonna last me a long time the conditioner is amazing it smells great it has a ton of slip and it keeps my hair feeling nice and soft long after I've rinsed it out so I definitely be using these um, throughout the year as well and um, if you're looking for something like if your hair has been color treated and you're looking for something to add back that moisture and keep your hair strong then I would recommend infusion 23 the moisture replenisher line 
The next product I'm going to show you guys that I tried last year and I actually did like was this Smooth and Shine foam and it is actually like a wrapping foam lotion. It has tea tree oil and olive oil in it and it's a heat protectant too and I actually purchased this whenever I had my hair in the mini braids. I didn't show you guys this but I purchased this to kind of like refresh my mini braids sometimes and um the tea tree oil in it is what drew me to it and i had a coupon to use um on it so that was a two-in-one win that helped me decide to get it it made my scalp feel refreshed and for the purpose of the mini brace it worked really well i do want to try it like in another style like maybe twist out or maybe a wash and go see how it goes um but yeah I'm going to keep this for the remainder of the year. Um, I have decided not to use heat on my hair this year, which I will talk about that soon, maybe in another video. But um, yeah, this is a heat protectant too, so if you wanted to use that for that, it would probably work really, really well. But I absolutely love it for like my braids and my twists and refreshing in between protective styles. So I'm going to keep this and make use of it throughout 2017. So the next product I'm going to show you guys that I absolutely love, I came across this year, was the Hydrotherma Naturals line. If you guys can remember when I did um, the wash and go with my color treated hair, I used these products. The Aloe Curl Enhancing Twisting Cream, the Amino Plus Protein Deep Treatment, and the Growth Oil, which I'm almost out. Out of all of it, this was probably my favorite. All of them are amazing. They keep your hair feeling really, really good. And this treatment in particular, whenever I put it on my hair and rinse it out, my hair automatically feels stronger. And not just that, there is no like moisture depletion. There's a lot of moisture in my hair. And a lot of times when you have a product that like is catered to protein, when you do it, you have to replenish it with a moisture product, but not with this. It's like a great, great two-in-one, and I absolutely love it. I'm looking forward to using more Hydrotherma Naturals this year, and you guys check it out. All these products, any information that I can link below will be in the description box for these products. So the last products I'm going to show you guys that I really enjoy using all throughout 2016 that I will be using this year are these softy hair greases you guys know i do use grease in my hair this one i've completely emptied and it took me over a year because a little goes a long way with these and they're like a dollar a piece so this is the argan oil one i particularly love the way this one smells it's my favorite smell and this one is also amazing this is the indian hemp hair and scalp treatment and this one is just it smells so so good anytime i use it i just want to rub it all over it has like a fruity fresh smell and not only that they are amazing as sealants i have a whole bunch of videos showing how i use these in my hair i even have a video explaining why i do use these sometimes so i absolutely love these particular hair greases um i do love the blue magic as well but these are really good especially if you're on a tight tight budget and you don't want to spend a whole whole lot one of these will last you for months so it's a great great buy so i hope you guys enjoyed this video showing you some of my favorite products from 2016 um that i will be using in 2017 like i said i'm super excited about it if you guys have any videos you would like to request from me um just leave it in the comment section below. I'll try my best to make those happen for you. And I did have a viewer who requested that I do a Q&A video. I never had that requested before. So if you guys want to ask me some questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer them in an upcoming Q&A video. Nothing too, too personal, but I will try my best to answer the question that you might have for me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.